breaking news from the world of sports. Bianca Andrescu has been named Canada's top athlete. The Mississauga teen is the winner of the Lou Marsh Award for 2019. Devin Haru of CBC Sports is here with more on the story. This is not unexpected, right? But why did the judges make this decision? Andrew, this just in. Bianca Andrescu is very good at tennis. So good it was a unanimous vote. So every December, 30 of the journalists in Canada get in a room. They debate who the top athlete in this country was. Well, it was no debate this year. Bianca Andreescu, just 19 years old. What a season she had. So let's put this into perspective. At the beginning of the season, she started outside of the top 150 tennis players in the world. And then in March, she wins her first ever title in Indian Wells. And then, Andrew, she wins the Rogers Cup right there. Mm -hmm. Actually, that was at the U.S. Open. Who will ever forget no one. that September afternoon? And here's the big thing about these Lou Marsh Award winners. It's been handed out mm -hmm. since 1936, is that every year there's that one standout performance that people go, mm -hmm. I remember when that happened. Mm -hmm. I remember when. And everyone, millions of Canadians, knew exactly where they were. I was at Arthur Ashe Stadium that day. To be the best, you have to beat the best. She knocked off Serena Williams at the Rogers Cup that moment. Remember mm -hmm. when uh, Serena gets injured and then Serena calling Bianca and rescue. Remember, just 19 years old, an yeah. old soul. So she has poise. She has power. She has grace. Now she's the top athlete in Canada. And a neat little note, Mikael Kingsbury was a winner last year. When Bianca won the U.S. Open title, he tweeted out, hey, I have the trophy here in Montreal. I'm ready for you to come get it at any moment. She's going to be picking it up I today. Mean, you know, uh, when she won... Uh, so at the Rogers Cup, Serena was injured. So she won the Rogers Cup. That's that was right. a big deal. But that she said, you know, this is not the way I wanted to win. And then she played at that U.S. Open and she won the first Canadian woman, the first Canadian to win a Grand Slam, right? I mean, this was historic. It was. And actually, I should point out that she becomes the first tennis player ever in the 79 Lou Marsh Award winners to win and be named Athlete of the Year as a tennis player. So let's go back to that situation in New York. I mean, there you are in Arthur Ashe Stadium. I'm actually seated in the audience. It's this tennis coliseum. You're taking on 23-time Grand Slam winner Serena Williams and Bianca Andreescu. If you thought she was going to be nervous under pressure, she wasn't. She won the first set going away 6-3. to three. Then the pressure was mounting. The New York crowd clearly on the side of Serena Williams. The place was going crazy. Bianca Andreescu, she catapulted to a 5-1 lead in that second set. And everybody's going, is this really happening? <laughs> and then Serena surged. And if you were going to see... Bianca Andreescu meltdown under pressure. That was going to be the moment. And what did she do? She buckled in. She dialed in. When the pressure is great, Bianca Andreescu just rises to her greatest tennis level. And there she was. And you see the emotion of that moment. Andrew, I was there. I talked to her after the match. There's her parents, Maria and Niku. Of course, the dog Coco was there. <laughs> and she collapsed to the court. That is a moment of the year, the sports moment in 2019 everyone will remember. Yeah, I mean, would, at our meetings today, we, I, I said, what do I know? But I said, it's got to be Bianca. Come they on. Got like, right. They got it right. It would have been a very different story if Bianca Andreescu <laughs> yeah. didn't get this award here today. All right, Devin, thank you. Devin Haru of CBC Sports.